We're also going to need to check our valve guide height, how much it's protruding from here after install, and just verify. And this will be combined with checking for our valve head protrusion uh, on the other side of the block. And to check this, we'll just use a depth micrometer, or in this case here, I have a depth attachment to my vernier caliper. And we can just stick it on there, nice and flat, take a good measurement, make sure everything's clean, get your hand out of the way so people can see, and then, and then we can take a reading of what that is. We also need to check our valve height protrusion once they're installed, the new seat and everything's in there, uh, and compare that to manufacturer spec, okay? Now, you might have to do this with uh, some sort of a depth micrometer, uh, but often you can check this with a sled gauge, okay? So we can put this guy on our head, that's been cleaned and actually check for how much that's going to lift. So we can put our gauge on, we zero it, and then we'll just slide it over on top of our valve. Okay, so there's about a four thou lift. Always verify it. It's about four thou every time. And you can do that on all your valves and take a reading and make sure they're good. It's not a bad idea too to check it on both sides of the valve in case your valve seat was installed uh, a little cocked.